For patients with advanced stage disease, PET-directed therapy, starting with ABVD, is still a valid approach and is the most common approach in North America, but with the Echelon 1 trial, there is a cohort of patients that will likely derive benefit from combining brentuximab with AVD chemotherapy. And I think the difficult part now is trying to determine which of those advanced stage patients would be the ones that we would think would be most likely to derive benefit. When considering between PET-directed therapy with ABVD versus treatment with brentuximab and AVD, we look at age, so elderly patients are less likely to have a benefit and more likely to have toxicity from combination with brentuximab, and also with uh, risk factors such as extranodal disease, stage four disease, and patients that have B symptoms, because those seem to be the ones that had greater benefit from the um, more intensive therapy.